Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking about one of the last few OPU 6 leaders I have not made a decklist about. This one is one of my personal favorites. Uh, it's the red purple Uta and um, Uta is one of my favorite characters and I have desperately trying to make her work and I think I have done it. I think I have made a great decklist and I also have had some good success with that in my local tournaments and this is why I'm sharing it with you guys today. So basically um, we all know her effect, you may trash one film type card from your hand and you can then give minus 2000 power to one of your opponent's characters and then you can add up to one down from your deck rested. It's not the best effect, you have to trash a hand card which pretty much hurts in every red and purple or red purple uh, deck there is so this is not the most ideal effect but it's okay we can work with that and let's get right into the deck list so basically i will show you guys uh, the single cards um, one by one and at the end i will talk about some uh, changeable cards uh, if uh, you guys want to add something specifically or if you like it more i will get to that part later so for the first card we have Otama, she is your 2k counter and on play minus 2000. We have Race Max, but I will talk about why I think Otama is better than Race Max in this deck. Um, also a key factor, she's a 2k counter, if we would not include her, we would only have 8 2k counters, which is a bit... Uh, it's not enough. I think it was a bit uh, too low uh, to have only 8, so I wanted to have... A bit more 2k counters because you need to be uh, aggressive and you need to be defensive also in this deck so this is why Otama is there then as you can already see we are also running straw heads with the film type so um, this works it works pretty well um, it's not the most common combination but I think this combination uh, with the single cards I have arranged here is all right Basically, we are running some key straw hat cards and we want to search them early on. This is why we have Nami and whatever you hit, you need it. Either you hit the uh, Rush Zoro for early game pressure or the Tenkos Luffy for uh, late game pressure or for mid game your events where you can KO most of your uh, opponent's cards. Basically, um, if you hit something with Nami, it's good. Um, as I said, we need uh, we need to be a bit aggressive with this deck. So Zoro helps helps out helps us out. Damn, that was a tongue breaker. Uh, in the early game, to be aggressive, you could also like if you do not have Zoro on Dawn Free, you can actually just attach Free Dawn to Nami, swing with her, swing with Leader, Ramp. I mean, you have some possibilities. Um, then we have. The Tankos Changs from OPO6. This is uh, your uh, one of your two big boss monsters in this deck. Um, you want to play him at best uh, before you play, you play Luffy, um, because if you play him, you get rid of something big. You can actually use the leader effect to give, uh, let's say, a Tankos Big Mom or something else that has more than 10,000 life, um, the minus 2,000, and then you can actually just play shanks and get rid of um the enemy big boss monster basically shanks can do that and he is a menace on the field he is a tank cost and he is 12,000 power so your enemy will have to invest a lot of resources to get rid of him which is pretty hard and most of the times it's not worth because you could actually chain shanks or chain luffy's and the enemy simply has to deal with them on the board uh, and either block them or freeze them, whatever. Then we are uh, running four copies of Shuraya. This is actually one of the best blockers Red has um, ever seen. And I think Shuraya is also a pretty, pretty important cut. He is a film type, so you can trash it with Uta. He is maybe one of the best blockers in this game because you only need like 1k counter if the leader attacks whatever uh, base power the leader has, Shuraya copies him and also you can be uh, um, aggressive with this card because uh, the effect says when attacking and when blocking. So basically 
this is really strong and he is a 1k counter so Shuraya is definitely a 4 of. Then we are running uh, 3 copies of the 10 cost uh, Monkey D. Luffy from the starter deck 10. Um, this is basically the other um, uh, win condition in your deck with Shanks. Uh, most of the, of the times you want to play Shanks, get rid of something important, then in the next turn you want to play Luffy and have like a triple threat because you are attacking with your leader, with Shanks and with Rush Luffy and most of the times the enemy is under, is under insane pressure because now he cannot or he should not activate blockers because he will lose another character for nothing and you are actually... Um, striking him with an immense force so this is where the enemy really needs to either uh, get rid of all of his hand counters or use all of his blockers or whatever to defend because at best you have been pretty aggressive with your leader and with Zoro and maybe even some some mid, uh, mid game characters and you can finish out with Luffy and with Shanks. So, this is the game plan, then we are running 4 copies of Shiki, he is a film type character, 2k counter, nothing much to say. Then we are running 4 copies of Kill Tesoro, the new one, not the old one. He is a 1k counter and his effect really helps with this deck. Um, down minus 1 on play, if your leader has the film type, add 2 cost 4 or lower film type characters from your trash to your hand. So basically you can counter out with Shuraya, you can counter out with Shiki, you can counter out with the blocker Shiki and with the um, film Uta blocker and with Buena Festa, whatever it is, you can counter with them and you can simply get them back to your hand. This is really important because let's say you have ramped 2 times with Shiki and you play him once, you are still 1 down ahead and you have your 2 uh, 2k counters back in hand. This is also uh, a pretty strong card if he is on the field. He is a 6000 power card, so uh, he can swing easily, um, uh, be a bit aggressive, um, and your opponent really has to get rid of him. And then we have the um, baby Shiki, let's say, your baby blocker. Um, he has a nice on play effect. You do not really have to use it i mean most of the times you really want to have him for the yamato matchup um because it's really hard to not have a blocker i mean you could also have shuraya but if you are going second you really need cheeky because you only have two done um his on play effect is okay i mean in the late game maybe you want to cycle a bit he helps you but it's not that important um, he is a film type character, you can discard him for the effect, you can get him back with Gil Tesoro, which is also nice. Um, but uh, our other blocker, our other main blocker with Shuraya is the Uta blocker. Uh, we all know her effect, you can rest up to another one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 5 or less, which is pretty strong. Um, this is why we have included her. Um, she's a film type, you can discard her. Same thing. And for the last character card, we have our Film Searcher. Straight up, Buena Festa. Uh, he is also a 2k counter, so this is great. And then we are running our free events. Uh, first of all, we are running uh, Gum Gum King Kong Gatling. Um, this card is really, really good because not only has this card a good trigger, where you can KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a cost of another uh, cost with a uh, power of 5000 or less. Um, but the main effect is pretty strong. For just to dawn, you can give up to one of your leader or characters plus 3000 power. Then if your opponent has a character with 7000 power or more, give up to one of your leaders or characters 1000 power for the turn. Basically, you can split this up. You can give one character or leader 3000. And then if the other um, effect happens where your opponent has another 7000 character card, uh, you can give uh, the 1000 power to another leader or character. So basically you could split this up or give everything to one. This is like a good finisher for just two down. You get four back, I'd say. Uh, but this is, it's worth, like in every aspect, this is really worth. Um, and uh, a lot of people do not expect this card. So this is really like, a, a big surprise for most of the people I have uh, played against in the locals. 
And of course we are running the four copies of Azure Dragon's Time Flowing Water, which is an insanely long name for this card. It is amazing. <laughs> But you really want this card because it is such a low dawn investment just for free dawn. You can KO up to one of your opponent's characters with a power of 5000 or less. The trigger is basically the same, only with 4000. Um, and as I've said, you can combo this with your uh, leader effect and with Otama to KO something um, big in the early game. Uh, you really want this at 4 because this is important. And the same with the Gum Gum Jet Pistol. This is searchable with Nami because it's not a film type character. Um, compared to the Azure Dragon, Stem Flowing Water, this is film and straw hide, so you could search this card with Buena Festa and with Nami. This is why this is the most important card. But uh, Gum Gum Jet Pistol is just a bit stronger because not only is the main effect um, uh, targeting a higher power character with 6000 but the trigger is the same so if you get this from the life this is this is really really strong you could KO something like Bosalino or any other cards that are really uh, strong and suppressive and 6000 power is such a nice uh, is such a nice number for only 4 dawn and if you want to be uh, aggressive in your turn this can uh, easily be a 8000 target with your leader ability or with Otama or like a 10,000 with both just saying uh, with just four on this is truly amazing this is it basically guys the um, general idea of this deck is to go first if you go first you only really need to ramp once because then you will be even ramping more than once is it's it's really okay but if you ramp twice being first uh, it's not that great because if you are first and you're ramping once you will be even and you will be at 10 when you should be at 9 so basically you will have a big power spike in your turn for either Shanks or Luffy but if you ramp twice um, you will not be any any faster you would have to ramp three times but discarding three cards is poo that's insane that's really that, that can really make a difference if you go second you should ramp twice to even that out um, but you should always uh, consider to not over ramp to not be like ramping once and then be on nine or be at seven whatever you should always try and be even to reach a flat 10 on your earliest possible turn. This is why you should only ramp once uh, for uh, going uh, first and twice for going second. Um, this is the general idea. And for the cards that you could actually include, I mean, we should run some film type characters. This is basically what the deck or, or what the leader expects us to do. So. Uh, Saga is one of a card where I think it should be included, but I do not see I do not see a, another card um, to change it. You could say I don't care about Yamato that much. I'm getting rid of two Shikis and I'm including two Sagas, or I only need like three Guild Tesoros and I don't need Shikis. So I can add three three Sagas, maybe or maybe. I don't know, uh, get rid of one Nami, get rid of one Zoro. If you really want four of them, if you really want the discard, um, I mean, his effect is nice. For just one down, when attacking this character gains a thousand until the start of the next turn, then at the end of this turn, trash one of your film type characters. Basically, if you play Buena Fest on first or like um, second turn, he is there on your board. The enemy won't get rid of him. Why should he waste anything for this? for this non-threat card basically if you play saga you could trash buena festa and then get him back to your hand but this is such a niche possibility and i don't think that you really need saga this much i don't think that he is that much value and if you do not have Buena Festa for some reason if you have only Namis you cannot trash the Namis because it's only film types and you really should not change uh, change um 
uh, kill anything else, like you should not kill your Uta, you should not kill your Shuraya or whatever it is. So this is why I have not included Saga, but I see why people would love to uh, have him. Same thing with Douglas Bullet. This card is great. I actually think this card is great, but I think it's just too much. I think this is just a bit too much. For 6 Dong having a big blocker, it's alright, but it's just a bit... Mm, it's just not the right amount of resources that you use to play him. I mean, 6 costs, he can easily get KO'd. 7,000, this is something the enemy can get around pretty easily. I mean, if the enemy decides to let him be, it's alright, but I don't know. I just think it's not it's not ideal. I think Shuraya is better with the uh, Uta in combination and just the two Shikis for the early um, uh, protection against Yamato. I think Douglas Bullet is just... He's a bit too slow, a bit too heavy. This is why I have not included him. If you really want him... Um, please feel free, like, you could change out the Shikis, as I have said, if you really want four copies of him. It's going to be pretty hard, including four copies of him, or like, mm, four is like, it's like not realistic. If you want like three of them, I mean, try and, and, and cut like one guild, one Nami, one Zoro, whatever you feel like, but you really shouldn't, honestly. It's just uh, too heavy of a card. Um, Todd Musica is something I have seen a few people uh, run, like once, this is like the, the big finisher, activate main, once per turn you may rest one of your Uta, this character gains plus 5000, I mean, this is like a finisher, you can rest the Uta, give this character plus fi uh, 5000, and then have uh, a few more dawns open for another character, or even discard, whatever it may be. Uh... <sighs> I don't know, it feels clunky, it feels weird, only one of them. I would not include this card more than once and having this card... Uh, I mean, it's okay if you don't really need it, you can discard it, but you could not get it back with Guild Tesoro. This is like, I either play it or I don't. Uh, it's alright. If you want it, if you really, really want it, you can like, um, cut one Zoro. Actually, you could cut like one Zoro. Because Zoro is only good in the early or mid game and he has no counter. So if you really want like one, maybe two, I mean, I can live with two. Uh, then I would cut like one Zoro and one Nami, I guess. But I'm not quite sure. Um, this is like some oddly specific card. If if people really want this, then sure, go for it. But uh, it's not, not that important. Um, the Luffy Searcher card is actually really bad. I don't like this card at all, this does nothing and it just takes away a, uh, a spot for another playset. Um, it's it's not it guys, it's, it's really not it. I mean, you are uh, searching with Buena Festa, you are ramping, you will be there. Um, you don't really need like a, a third searcher or like a double film. Uh, mm, nah, it's, it's not really it. Uh, Race Max. The big difference in Otama and Race Max is, first of all, Race Max is film you could discard him if you do not need the effect, but he is no counter. The big, big difference is that Otama is a counter. I mean, she only uh, gives a character minus 2,000, Race Max gives a character minus 3,000, which is which could make a difference. But hear me out on this one. You are not strong. You are not an S tier type deck. And you need to be aggressive and you need to be defensive. And with just 8 Tuke counters and like 4 of them being pretty much played all the time, it's, it's really really hard to be defensive. I mean you have blockers and you have like enough 1k counters and events but you, I mean you really need like enough 2k counters because you will run out of life. Race mix is fine if you really say I don't need Otoma, I don't need the 2000 counters, I want I want to KO as much as I can, I need to be in range, go for it. Uh, change the Otomas with Race Max, but I don't think this is this is, uh, this is is it guys, I don't think this is a better solution. Race Max is just... Uh, it feels weird, it really feels weird, although it shouldn't. 
it actually sounds great, but in reality it isn't. This is at least what I'm thinking, and I think just Odoma is a bit better. It really is. Um, this could be considered just like a uh, early uh, baby blocker, and Trigger is it's all right. In the first version, I have included this card like two copies, but uh, it's not that important anymore. And honestly, I think there are only two other or three other options. Um, the uh, Secret Rare OPU2 Uta, it's nice, it's really nice, but most of the times you are trying to finish or close out the games with Shanks and uh, Luffy, so you are not really in need of this uh, Secret Rare. It's really sad because I love this card, I love the artwork. It has a strong effect, it really has, mm, but it's, it's, I think the Dawn minus 2 and the 8 cost, it's just, uh, I don't know, I think it's not it. I really think it's not it and you could actually use this card, you can cut like one Tesoro um, or one Shanks included twice, it's okay, it's not that important. Um, Zephyr would be something to um, think of, in the first build I have included him, he has a really strong effect, he can nullify all abilities from a character and then if this character has 5000 or, or less you can KO it, basically he can nullify Sabo, he can nullify Vaselino, um, anything else, but it's a such high investment, 7 Dawn and Dawn minus 1, this is, it, I think it's just too much. Playing 7 Dawn just for him feels not worth. It really does not feel worth. There is more value playing uh, like uh, the uh, Azure Dragon or the Jet Pistol and attacking like maybe twice with, uh, uh, with Uta and Zoro or whatever it may be. It's really sad because I like this card a lot but I think it's just not... It's just not in the right spot with 7 and 7,000, it's really hard. A lot of people run Ain uh, to ramp, you can do it, it's not necessarily. And the last two cards I think that are worth are the old Guild Tesoro, you could change like maybe one or two from the, the new Guild Tesoro or like a Shiki card, maybe a Rush Tesoro and include him. If you are in need of hand cards, this is all right. And the last card which you could include is Douglas Bullet from the starter deck 5. Uh, this is like your finisher. This is really your finisher. You um, activate main once per turn, down minus 4. You rest two of your enemy characters and he gains double attack. This is like your big finisher. He has 10,000 power. He is a menace on the board. But it is a, it is a highly, highly uh, risky play because you waste. I mean, you do not waste. Um, 8 Dawn, but you play 8 Dawn and then you gotta wait and see if he survives next turn. It's okay, you could like get rid of one Guild Tesoro and add one Douglas Bullet for the tech. This is like, from all the cards I've mentioned, this is like one of the most okayish change you could make. But this is more of a taste thing if you like it or not. But yeah, basically that is it guys and uh, if you like this deck, really give it a try. I have played it in locals and I have uh, won quite a few times. Not the local though, but uh, I have won like from six games, I have won like three and the next tournament I have won like four. So this deck has pretty good consistency. This is more of... It sadly is more of a fun deck than a strong deck. This is certainly no S tier, but I think I think this deck list is like a solid A. It really is like a solid A. And if you guys are looking for a fun and not too uh, too shabby version of Uta, I think this is it, guys. If you like Uta, if you like the red purple Uta uh, specifically, just go for it. Give it a try. Try it in a simulator if you're not sure and I think you guys will like it. So this is it for the video guys and if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe and we will see each other in the next video. Peace.